Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Dalton at Dalton ANSTFs, and today we're taking a look at the final Stunicon until, you know, the Breakneck or Wild Rider comes out, and that is going to be off-road. As you can see, again, same packaging as before. Really nice detail all through here, and the comic book. Five out of five. Again, full Stunicons here, ten steps, number five, armor leg. And it says here, the newest member of the Stunicons is pressed into action on missions his teammates want to want no part of, giving him the opportunity to show off his extreme conditions combat training. It's dirty work in the most dangerous situations, but it's the only way he'll win his teammates' trust. So, there's that. Let's go ahead and get this guy open out of the packaging, and we'll go from there. So, be right back. And here is Wild Ride, or, oh, wow. Off-road in his vehicle mode. Sorry, I'm kind of pumped up for Wild Rider whenever that's released. I know Captured Prey wasn't really able to sell it yet, but anyways, not bad looking vehicle mode. I mean, got the nice red throughout here, you get the silver paint ups of the rims, nice red painted windows, gunmetal gray here on the hood, Subticon symbol there, more silver paint here on the front. Overall, not bad, and as you can see, the weapon does plug in here just uses this little tab here and that little slot there and it does look pretty good and very nicely detailed looks like an engine with like exhaust ports or intakes since it's on the back and of course you got the axe which has some little bit of circuitry there along with what looks to be like a little engine block that's pretty cool, and then you get this nice little handle. But, let's go ahead and get into the instruction booklet. Again, the same as the others, it just folds out and everything. So there's that. And the instruct or the comic book. And it's got number six of Combiner Wars. See some more stuff in there. You get to see the Constructicons and Devastator again. Okay, right there is Devastator. And Superion. Then you get the sketch phase, gray model, final product, which I wish they would have gone with that really dark gray, black color. Just looks a lot better in my opinion. And got to look at the outlines along with the Ironhide looking head sculpt. Very cool. So one thing I want to get into is I wonder if they're going to use just the off-road mold or the first aid retool. I mean, it'd be cool to get it like this, but I kind of want that SUV kind of van look to Ironhide, so I'm hoping for that compared to just this. I mean, this would be great, kind of a, also of a prime homage, but, oh well. I mean, either way, it'd work for me to have an Ironhide in a deluxe scale, even though I still kind of want to get the eye gear figure. Anyways, on to Off-Road. He is actually supposed to be an homage to the G1 Trigger Con named Ruckus, but I guess that wouldn't work as a Stunicon, so they just hold him off-road and make him look like Ruckus. But he does roll fairly nice, and very nice, again, off-road pickup truck. I mean, it looks like he could do a few kind of off-road racing stunts. But transformation is simple. Let's go ahead and do the limb or foot mode first. Just flip down that. Take your little foot plate thing. And there you go. That's all there is to it. Now to get into arm mode, basically just leave it like this. Bring this up. Yeah, rotate the head around that way it's not totally visible. Rotate that out. Bring these panels up. These will be the arms for robot mode, obviously. And bend them backwards at a 90 degree angle and they will just rest right on that little tab there. Like so. Same on the other side, up, and tab. Take the front end here, bring this down, and what's interesting is this kind of matches the aerial bots, except usually this would be the front of the legs on the aerial bots with the way the legs work, and this would be the back. I, I find that interesting that they kind of completely reversed that. It's a nice kind of way of saying, you know, well, I guess... I don't know, just kind of rambling now. Just go ahead and close that up. And rotate this around. Take your hand foot plate 
and it just pegs right into there, bring out the fingers, rotate up the thumb, and there you go. I do not really like this much as an arm, mainly because of the way the robot arms just flop around there. They're kind of just loose and flopping. So, there's that. Robot mode, not hard to get to. Just straighten out the legs, split them apart, rotate the joint up, rotate the head, and just get the arms oriented. And there we got off-road. And I really like the look of this guy. I mean, him and Dead End are my two favorite looking, you know, favorite stunt guns. I wish they could have done a little bit something better with this, especially with these door panels. Like, maybe collapse a little bit better. Or fold backward. Like, put this on, like, a double hinge to where this ends up right here. But I'm not going to complain too much about that. I mean, it does still look really good. Nice red paint apps here. Nice Decepticon symbol. Some silver paint right in through here. And I really like how they painted the shins to look like the shocks. Wish they could have continued that down onto here. That would have been nice. And you've still got some nice paint. you got kind of that turquoise there on the face. Along with the nice red eyes and kind of a yellowish green. Kind of like a pea soup green. But not bad. I mean, the articulation is exactly the same as the others. Head is on a ball joint. Shoulders, ball joint, swivel at the elbow. You can hear that ratchet there. And it bends 180 due to the transformation. Waist, 360, because it's also an elbow. Legs, or hips are on a ball joint. Thigh swivel. Bends pretty good at the knee. And you can arm him up with his axe and the combiner foot gun. I can either have it in the hand or on the forearm. I like having it on the forearm, just makes it a little bit different. And you can also take the same peg that we used to store them in vehicle mode, stored in vehicle mode, and you can kind of give them like a little arm-mounted cannon if you want to do that. I personally like the axe better. It just it's a little bit more badass looking. Anyways, I really enjoy this figure quite a bit. Like I said, he, him and Dead End are my favorites, just like Air Raid and Alpha Bravo were my favorites of the set. So, I hope you guys like this review. If you take a look at the whole team of Stunicons along with Menasaur in the next video. So, once again, hope you guys enjoyed. Check out my gallery of this guy down in the description below on my Facebook page. And you can also check out my Instagram and Twitter down in the description below. Hope you guys had a great day. See you guys next time.